All right, Milo, what are we doing? We're going to check our sea strength. Let's check it. Yesterday we were sailing from uh, St. Thomas down here to the Spanish Virgin Islands. We passed just a boatload of seaweed, so. Oh, well, you know what? The bilge doesn't look so bad. No? The oil bilge. A little leak down there. Yeah. Let's see how much we got in the sea strength. Anything in there? Nothing. Nothing. Clear as day. There we go. Good. built-in generator so we currently got the generator going and the AC is cranking 15.3 volts nice AC here let's see what we set the AC at sixty four yeah my house usually got it on fifty so here's a little bit of size reference for you Milo's just putting together back a little storage thing. I'm in the corner here. She's got room. 15.39 foot beam, a little over 45 feet length at the waterline. We'll go right in here. Take a little look at the master cabin. Now this vessel was originally a four cabin vessel. So this forward cabin has been converted into a master suite. She's big, so we got one here, got one head here. And this is just a separate head, it's not a wet head, just your separate head there. And then over here, another head, because again, she was a four cabin, so these would have been private heads for everybody on the board. Plenty of storage here. Nice long galley, which oddly enough, this galley has been really nice because you can brace yourself right here when you're cooking. We got size reference, plenty of counter space. Your stove's right here. Nice deep freezer on her. And the fridge has top loading access here. There's a bunch of dudes on the boat, so we kind of just eat on the fly. We got top access there, and then front access here. Plenty of storage. Another head back here. This one's a wet head. Oh, those aren't on. So we got our wet head. You can see plenty of room here. Back to a cabin. It goes all the way back. Plenty of room. I got plenty of room to stand up right here. I don't know what I'm doing with the camera, but lots of room here. Back out. bathroom's dirty. Another wet head, plenty big. Do everything you need to do. Plenty of room. Then this shuts. And now you've got your shower stall. Bingo. And pink toilet paper. I don't know what that's about, but. 
I'm like six foot and 200 pounds. Fitting there just fine. Then this one's just being used as storage right now. But another cabin. She's just a little bit dirty. So yeah. And there is the 509. Now, let me go up top. Giant cockpit, dual helms, and an absolute ton of uncluttered yeah, deck we're space. Today, I think we're going to go to Vieques. Nice wide open bimini, you always want that. Nice wide open back here. Backstay, giant swim platform. Dinghy's 10 and a half feet with a 9.9 .9 on it, just for size reference. And the Spanish Virgin Islands. <laughs> Everything is nice and hidden. She's also got three electric winches. Two speed electric winches. She's got three of them on board. One there. Yeah. Another one over here. And then we'll go forward. Oh, we got Starlink running. Starlink's a must have for you sailors. Sorry, my love. Then nice, wide, uncluttered side decks. So you can walk up front, not trip over your life. Again, the lines are nice and hidden. Currently on a ball. Pay no attention to that. Uh, Jumbled mess there. Hatches grab a lot of light for the master cabin. Right back down the other side here. <laughs> It does have a stack pack, no in mass furler, unfortunately. And a line that I need to fix so it stops clanging. How you're just banging and banging, I'll put that somewhere else so it stops doing that nonsense. And yeah, here we are. And the beautiful Spanish Virgin Islands. Little island packet right there. So yeah, a nice quick little tour of the Genoa 509. She's a 2015, if I remember correctly. Catamaran out there. The wind absolutely rips in here during half of the year, so keep that in mind if you ever want to come here. Not a lot on this island, little downtown area over there. Great little restaurant called the Dockside Dinghy Restaurant or something, I think is what it's called. Also, lots of handholds so when you're coming up front. That's always good. We got the Dodger folded down for more air. That normally is up here. And then you're good. And there we are, ladies and gentlemen. Let me know down below what you think of this, you know? Bye.